Today, using Power Query, we want the uh, level of hierarchy for each person in our MLM system or in our company. So, for example, let's look at Thomas. Thomas has ID number five, but he was referred by the person of ID two. So, Thomas was referred by person of ID two. So, in our example, it's and and we can see that and was referred by a person of id one so the person of id one is one level above her and this in this example it's john and we can see john as uh, with one and he don't have anything in the field referrer so we will say it's zero level of hierarchy then n is one level uh, below so it's one in our one, let's call this one level of hierarchy and then thomas is below n and it will be two and we want to find level of hierarchy for each individual person in our table and we'll be using power query for this so one cell in this table data tab and from table range import we are will be importing those data to power query and we need to create proper functions so on home tab we are going new source other sources blank query so we can add our function prepared previously so to be faster and we have our function and in this function we need a person id so this number and we need also whole table we'll be looking at and we'll be we will be using recursion so we'll be uh, referred to exactly the same function we are using right now okay so the first step in this function is to find a row with this person we are looking at so with this id so we select row from person table and we are looking at the id we want to find id with um, so with thomas so we will be find uh, this a row and we are using uh, refer to first row so zero index to get actually a row not a table because even and when we get a single row in this example we will get a table not a record and we want from this record does an id of referrer so the person above its id her or his id is person row referrer so the value from this column and then we are just checking if person above id or person above is no so for example uh, for john it's no if it's no we will get zero the function will return zero but if it's not we will once again run this hierarchy level function and the add symbol is just to emphasize that we uh, once again uh, run the same function we will need to copy this name and this time we'll be running this function with the person above id and the person table down change we just add one to increase increment the level of higher okay so this is done we just need to change the query name to um, properly basically the function name to higher level so it will be correctly referred to itself so we have our function and we can now use this function in our table so on the add column tab uh, let's uh, get uh, 
I was in the formula bar. Okay, so let's add the add column tab, invoke custom function, the one we already write, and we need this function, and I will just change the column name just to level ID. Personal ID is in the ID column. Yes, and but don't have person table. Don't have table. We will just use for now column name and let's go with referrer. Just the other column, not the ID. So we know we need to change referrer to proper table and press OK. And for now we have arrows because we use column reference, not table reference. Uh, and in this example, we need to change this to table. And in Power Query, most of steps are tables. So we just need to refer our previous step. So copy this and paste uh, here instead of reference to a table. And this should be fine. And we can look, Thomas is two uh, is on level two. Yeah, it's correct. So we can go home, close and load our table with function to Excel. And let's see, uh, for example, Paul is level three. And we'll, let's change his referrer from five, so from Thomas, to let's say eight, John and control s and then refresh and now it's level four so our function works and we can find a person's level in hierarchy based on our function mm -hmm.